Yo, yo, yo! What's up, y'all? Welcome back to Wingate TV. I am back here with Find Love or Die Trying. Yeah, we took a little break from this. I don't even know why I took a break from this. We stopped at a good point and we never got back to it. So now here we're going back to it. Not just me, though. Not just me. Let's do this. Alright, so here's where we left off. I, I don't exactly remember how we left off, like what happened. I think we spent spent the time with Violet, I think. I think. I don't even remember. Whatever. In the morning, the girls and I decided to hang out in the garden outside the house. Oh? Oh no. Oh wow! There's all kinds of flowers here that I've never seen before. Really? You've never seen a tulip? Grandma and I only grew hyacinths, I guess, back home, so nope, not even on the internet, and I thought I had to get out more, you do, you be playing video games all the time, I ain't gonna lie, I do too, so why am I talking, I can believe that, the only flowers I ever worked with are the Venus fly traps. what do you do with those, well, we do a lot of experiments at the lab, I forgot she works like, that's her type of work, don't you ever find yourself thinking, wouldn't it be cool to make a Venus fly trap that could walk and talk? No. That's kind of creepy. Why would you want that? Uh, literally never. It's whatever. She ran away two years ago. Oh, no, that's sad. Look at her face. Both my neighbors lost their pet, pet cats the same day, too. I miss you, Fluffy. You sure they were lost? Here comes Violet. Tea's ready. Thanks, Violet. I got a cup for everybody. The aroma from the tea really worked up my appetite. I had prepared some treats for us as well. Please enjoy. We spent the rest of the morning eating delicious treats and sipping on delicious tea as we theorized what might have happened to Fluffy. Die, that's what I think that. Personally, my money's on the felines being the culprits. Every cat I met has had a nasty surprise up their sleeve. Notice how he said, notice how that's spelled cat like the producer of the show. He, maybe he's trying to tell us something, but I, I thought he didn't remember anything. See, that, this, this, is, this is making me mad, though. I'm reading too much into it. They ain't ready for it. I figured it's about time to talk with Cat about my next date, but I felt a tap on my back. Cat, is that? I turn around, and the girl in front of me was just as surprised as I was. That is not Cat. Cat? No, this is Allie. Oh, sorry, Allie. What's up? She looked to see if anyone else was around before we spoke. Have you? And here goes the music changing. Look, I, I wasn't ready for these sudden, sudden surprises. Come on now. Have you noticed anything weird lately? What do you mean? Elaborate. Something about this show gives me the creeps. I went out for a walk in the forest last night, you know, because it's gorgeous and all. But after I got there, I must have dozed off for a minute. Taking a nap at forest at night, you're braver than most. Let me finish. When I woke up, I was back in my room, on my bed. And I swear I don't ever remember walking back. That sounds pretty crazy, if that actually happened. You sure you didn't just have a weird dream, like, you know, a lucid dream? Come on. Now that you mention it, I tried Scarlet's cooking for fun last night. That was a big mistake. Maybe I'm just imagining things, but did you notice anything strange happening last night? I don't think so. It was just a regular night. I had a conversation with Kat in my room, but that was it. <laughs> Five girls to date wasn't enough, huh? Listen, chill, chill. It's not my fault. She came in my room. Sorry, I couldn't help myself. Well, I guess I'd be staying away from Scarlet's cooking and chalk it up to a weird-ass dream. Thanks for listening, Sean. It's my pleasure, Allie. See you later. Was she one of my picks to date first? Was she? I think. She ran off just as fast as she had come initially. And here comes Cat. Someone's in a hurry. Hey, Cat, I was looking for you. Afternoon, Sean. Same here. I wanted to ask, did your guys do anything last night to Allie? Not that I know of. 
Our staff leaves the cast alone at night. I guess there's nothing to worry about. Cat's been honest with me so far about everything. Or has she? See, we don't know. You don't really know. She's like, what? Right? <laughs> anyway, more importantly, it's time for phase two. You've done pretty decently with setting up a violent you as your sole candidates. People are eating it up. The romance? Whatever. More importantly, every time they're on screen, we get one hell of a ratings boost. From here, oh, excuse me. From here on out, you'll only be going on dates with either one. That'd be your best bet to get out of here alive. If I do, that probably won't even help. That sound good to you? You almost make it sound like I have a freaking choice. And you know I don't. I'm glad we're on the same page as always, Sean. But enough with pleasantries. Who's the unlucky girl today? Why she have to say unlucky? Like why she why she messing with my gangster like that? Don't play with me. Ha ha ha. I guess I like to spend today with. Hmm. I remember last time I did like Violet a lot, so we're gonna do that. Violet. Nice. I kind of have had a feeling you would. No, you lying. You say that about anybody. I think Violet's somewhere around the mansion. Lead the way. You know where she at. She in the kitchen. She gotta be in the kitchen. Oh, no, she's not. I found Violet taking a walk outside the mansion. Hey, Violet, what's up? Hello there, Sean. I just thought I'd take a nice afternoon walk. This place truly does bring back memories of home. You lived on your own personal island? Not that quite. Yeah, I don't even know how to say that word. I'm not even going to try it. Anyway, I got a surprise for you. You want to see? For me? I I motioned her to follow me into the mansion. Okay, we're, I, we're going to the kitchen. I asked Kat to pull a few strings and, well, we have everything we need to bake whatever we want now. Oh, oh my! Violet looked at me with childlike wonder in her eyes. Let's get right to it then, why don't we? She was practically shaking with excitement. Her smile and laughter was positively infectious. We decided to make a chocolate cake. It was her favorite flavor, and I don't even remember mine. That said, I don't remember a thing about how to make cakes, but with Violet, that wasn't a problem. She got me up to speed with a soft and steady hand, and before long, we had the cake in the oven, making the way. I wish it took longer to make. Seeing Violet do what she loved most was a treat. When she pulled out the cake out of the oven, she looked like a kid on Christmas Day. Ooh, look at her. Now, just for the finishing touches. A little more here, a little more there. She was in her own world, humming away as she danced around the cake, decorating as she went along. This still reminds me of Natsuki just a little bit. I couldn't help but smile and watch her in adoration. She's pure happiness right now. I wish I could take this moment and just freeze it in time for safekeeping. I can't wait to share this with the others. But first, Sean, would you mind testing it? You don't have to ask me. I'm the first in line to try it out. Thank you. I just, I'm not sure if it's what I make is worth eating or not. That doesn't sound like her at all. Why is that? My family's caretaker, Shirley, was the one who taught me how to bake. Beside my sister, Shirley was the only one who ever bothered to try what I made. Sometimes I worry they told me it's just delicious, just to make me feel better. I took a little off the top of her cake with my finger and licked it off. It's delicious, Violet. You better believe it. Would you want to help me a little longer? I'm having far too much fun to just stop now. I've just started making some cookies, and I quite find your... Ugh. I find your... Ah, oh, what the freak is wrong with me? Fine, I quite enjoy your company and help, Sean. Jeez, get it together. I need to go back to school. I'd love to. Let me know how I can help. Violet passed me a bowl full of cookie dough, then a tray. All you need to do is make little cookie-shaped pieces out of this dough, then put them on a tray. Do not try to put any of them too close on the tray, or it'll become something of a mutant cookie in the oven. Got it. No mutant. Nah. No mutant cookies here. Do I need to drink some water or something? Like, come on. I ripped off a piece of dough from the bowl and rolled it into the size and shape of a cookie. Perfect. You're a natural. Thanks, Violet. I... Wow. It took me... In time it took me to make one, Violet had made six perfect cookies. 
She moved with mechanical efficiency as she kneaded balls of dough into perfectly shaped cookies. Wow, I thought you were great before, but that's really incredible. How long have you been doing this? Perhaps since I was about five? To this day, it remains the only thing I can best my sister at. I finished making another cookie as Violet finished three more. She held up one of the cookies and raised it to her face. You've gotten quite skilled at this, Sean. I just wanted to say again, thank you for arranging this. I'm on top of the world right now. It was my pleasure, Violet. Gosh, she's so adorable when she smiles. For a few seconds, we kept working on the cookies in admirable silence, our eyes locking each other. You said you had a sister, right? Well, yes indeed. Viola Valentine. First twins in the family. She... Oh, I'm out of room on my tray. What were you about to say? She flashed a devious smile in my direction right before she lightly threw a dough ball in my fit. We gonna do this? What's with that cheeky... Yep. Before I could react, it splattered against and stuck to my face. She burst into childlike laughter. Nice catch, Sean. Perhaps we might try using your hands next time? Oh, it's on. You wanna play like that? You wanna play up my gangster like that? I couldn't stop myself from smiling as I grabbed some ammo from my own cookie tray and threw them at her. But she dodged them with ease and laughed. Is that easy? It's quite humorous how the old caretaker managed to do what you're struggling to do now. I interrupted her gloating with another book snowball throw. Dang! This time it made a satisfying splat against your left cheek. Now how you feel now? Strike? Oh, you are so going down. Her smile turned devilish as she grabbed another dough ball. Oh, shit. I'm only a second before a next volley. I... Well, you said she was getting ready to throw us, so you're going to go on the defensive. I ducked behind the kitchen counter. An instant later, a dough ball flew above my head. Ha! Nice! While I was gloating, Violet threw a dough ball that splattered against my forehead. Ah! And another landed right next to it. Mercy! And then another. I crumpled to the floor of defeat. I declare this my victory in absolute confidence. She laughed as she pointed at all the dough on my face. I took the opportunity to interrupt her speech with another dough ball. Damn. It splattered right against her left cheek. Yeah, don't laugh. Don't laugh. Oh, you're even more dead now. Forget surviving this crazy TV show. I don't know if I'm surviving the next five minutes. It was like looking a tiger dead in the eye. Violet reloaded her ammo and was winding up for another throw. It was all I could do to reach one more ball and scream in defiance. Bring it on! Dot, dot, dot. Some say you can sit here in my screens in the kitchen to this day. So basically, we fucking failed. We finished cleaning up after our impromptu food fight and bought the desserts that served the great reward to the porch. Her smile and laughter was infectious. Pardon me, but I guess we can rule out you being a baseball player before you had come to this island. She put her hand tenderly against my face as she wiped off some remaining dough. We locked eyes yet again. Her eyes were practically magnetic. Thanks for playing long, Sean. I, I suppose it's been too long since I had that much fun. So, thank you for indulging my little whim. It was a lot of fun for me too, Violet. Don't mention it. Besides, I think I got a few good hits in to make it worth it. I'm worried for you. It appears your amnesia is getting even worse. Nah, it's not getting worse. We did hit your ass a couple times, though. Violet laughed as she picked out some more crumbs off my face and licked them off her finger. Ooh, I didn't expect her to do that. Her eyes seem to linger on mine. Are they? I mean, they're pretty. They're, she's looking that way. That's not where my eyes are. I do hope we can spend more time together soon. I quite like this. I like that, Violet. I had a lot of fun with you, too. You're full of surprises, you know? Just wait and see. There's more where that came from. In what way? We spent the rest of the day talking and eating little desserts together on the porch. Though Violet seemed quite distant when I first met her, I learned that the real Violet is nothing like that at all, and full of surprises. She could be unexpectedly shy at one moment, then mischievous as a child another. One thing's for sure. Being around her makes my heart skip a beat, and the time fly. I do like her, though. Before I realized how much time had passed, it was already pitch black outside. Are we going back to our room now? Yep. As I was about to turn in for the night, when I heard a knock on my door. 
You know who it is. Yep. Hey, cat. I thought you weren't going to come over tonight. Sorry about that. I got tied up in some things. You get tied up like you know, we're not gonna we're not gonna keep it going. Y'all see what I'm trying to say. Is everything okay? Good as always. Can it join me for a walk? Sure, that sounds nice. Then away we go. I don't think I wanna go outside. We walk at a relaxed pace, with cat slightly ahead, leading the way. So how are you feeling about day three, Sean? Who's your front runner now? Uh I mean I really didn't see Yui again yet, but I'm gonna still say Violet. Violet's still the girl I like most. If anything, getting to meet and know the other girls made me like her even more. Violet's an incredible woman in every way. Something about her just keeps pulling me in. I just can't get enough of that, you know? Aw, oh, that's cute. Also, a perfect answer for the cameras. Thank you very much. I guess you'll be giving her fan base some more things to go rabbit over soon, hmm? You can say that again. Perfect! Well, I'm happy you at least got one girl you're really interested in, but it helps that you got chemistry with both. Tomorrow, we'll milk this love triangle by having you date the girl you didn't today. Sound good to you? I'm noticing the parody and make it seem like I have a choice when I really don't. None of us really have a choice nowadays, I'm afraid. Not even you? Okay, now th this is really getting this is really getting sus. Alright, I gotta get back to editing to take footage. You ready to head back to the mansion? Sounds good to me. We, all, we walk back in comfortable silence. Good night. See you later, cat. Oh, here we go this dream stuff again. If we get caught trying to escape, there's no telling what could happen to us. It's a chance we have to take. I know, but we need to know what we're up against. We know the island better than anyone by now, Sean. We'll be fine. I'm not so sure. Damien's brought in that scientist for his latest experiment. I'm still wondering. I said I said dream thing, but is it really a dream or is it memories? It might come like that's gotta be something more than that. All I've heard is that she's the one who built the prototype. The one Damien used to turn six into a vegetable. What? Wait, hold up. She? Who's she? Oh, that's the private sci scientist. Not to mention old test audiences, too. Shit. I think they must have killed like at least 100 people by now. And they still haven't perfected it. If we get caught, I get what you're trying to say. Are you still, still with me on this? It's not too late. You don't even have to ask. Of course I'm with you. Dot dot dot. Who are you? Somehow, I know you're close by. But every time I try to see your face, the dream ends. Yeah, I would love to know. Episode 4. Second, second go. Every single one of them. I walked down to the kitchen where the girls were already having breakfast. Y'all couldn't wake me up? Come on now. Like me. So how was the date? Yeah, tell us. Terry, t oh, Terry was furiously scribbling down notes with the title War Plans in Mold. It was really quite nice. We actually made this cake and the cookies yesterday, Sean and I. I. I hope you all enjoy it. They're amazing, Violet. Thank you for making it for us. Thanks so much. They're so delicious. But I don't hear nobody congratulating me though. They're not saying thank you to me. Like, I made them too. Tara Scribble, war of attrition is likely not an option. What are you writing there, Tara? Nothing. So, how come there's cookie batter everywhere? No matter where I look, I can see batter on every surface of the kitchen. I thought they cleaned up. I thought we cleaned up though. It wasn't just a batter. Violet and I have knocked over quite a few things in our firefight. But that's... You sure it was just baking together? Oh, I thought it was more than that. I charted if I was, I was heartbroken. I got a hand it to you, Violet. I didn't think you had it in you. Hubba <laughs> Wait, 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 yo! Nothing like that happened. Alan and I laughed and made finger guns at each other. I, I don't get it. That's because you're a good person, you. I think what Allie's trying to say is that Violet and Sean... <laughs> Ali stuffed the cookie in the scar's mouth before she could finish the sentence. Mm. Wow, these cookies are pretty useful. 
you gotta teach me how to make these sometime, Violet. It would be my pleasure, Allie. Mm, teach me too. Why would Sean have all the good stuff? Why should Sean have all the good stuff? Uh, we spent most of the morning fooling around in the kitchen. What does she mean by good stuff? Like, I stumbled on my words because of that. What does she mean? Oh, that might be deeper. Uh, my head. You okay? You don't look so good. Not so loud. My head's killing me after I had a ton of wine last night. I still had to edit our broadcast after that, which didn't help. Ladies and gentlemen, I present the woman who decides whether I get to live or die every night. And she was very, very drunk when she did just that. Thank you, thank you. I'll be here all week. Clearly you're still alive, Sean, so it's all good. Believe me, you drink too if you were to. Just look at the Brothers Five. Working at Futuri Futuristic Evil Corp, TM has to come with some benefits, right? You think, but we still have to pay for dental out of the pocket. Hmm. Before I forget what the show is all about, today is the day you go on a date with... Who is your other soulmate candidate again? Dot dot dot. Yui. Yui. How much did you drink last night, Cat? Whatever, I, I knew that. I was just testing you, duh. Right. Yeah, okay. Alright, let's get this second date with Yui started. Ooh! Whoa. Someone tell the world to stop spinning like a little bitch. I'm pretty much fucked that one. Yeah. Yeah, she's, she's not in it. I can see Yui waving at me from top to hill. Uh-oh. Hey there, Sean. It's nice to see you again. It's nice to see you too, Yui. You wanted to show me something? Now that I was closer, I could see Yui was the one holding... Yui was holding one hand behind her back. Believe me. It's the most amazing thing you've ever seen. Behold! Uh oh. It's a bunny! It is indeed a bunny. Where'd this little guy come from? To be honest, I've got no idea. I wonder if he's a wild one, or maybe somebody's pet. I've asked around, but it doesn't look like he belongs to anybody. So, I've been taking care of him since I found him. I, I couldn't just, I couldn't help myself, you know? Yuri's smile was as earnest as it could be. I keep saying Yuri, come on. Like I said it, I remember I said it in the last video too. Didn't you have a pet bunny back home? I had two. Bun and Bun Bun. Both of them were total rascals. But Bun 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 here is a good boy, aren't you? Hey, look at his face. He does not want to be there. He, he, he does not want to be held like that. She nuzzled against Bun Bun Bun's head. Yes, you are. We played for the bunny with the bunny for a little while. She picked the bunny up and held it in her arms. Bun 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 looked quite content. You know, you're pretty amazing with animals, you. Well, I've been sur surrounded by animals my whole life. Back in my house, well, to be honest, it was more of a barn than anything. Since my sisters were too young and Grandma was getting up there, I'd take care of all the animals. Grandma's taken care of them ever since they were born. My parents were supposed to take care of them after Grandma retired, but... Well, you know, life happens. Well, what does that mean? I'm just glad to have what I have. Ah! Bum bum bum. Uh, I managed to squeeze out of her hands, then ran off. We gotta catch him! Let's go! On it! I ran as fast as I could after Bum Bum Bum, but it was no use. The distance kept widening. Yeah, I'm not fast at all. Before long, we couldn't even see him anymore. So sorry, I, I couldn't catch him. He's really fast for something so small. But don't worry about it. Bun 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 likes to do this all the time. He's a bit mischievous, but he won't do anything dangerous. We can take our time looking for him. If you're willing to help. Of course, with you, ain't I? We start walking towards when we last saw Bun Bun Bun, right after we caught our breath again. Gosh, isn't it so nice to be outside? The smell of fresh air? The breeze? There's nothing like it. There really isn't. I smile. At first, I was really excited to go to the city. There's so many people, so many things to do, so many beautiful things. And most of all, I got to meet you. <laughs> You're gonna make me blush. I don't blush, though. 
she laughed and touched my arm. Even so, the city is just not my thing. It's a little bit funny, but the reason I had to come home all of a sudden was terrible. A little part of me was glad to be home. Ever had that kind of feeling before? I had. It's strange, but sometimes there's good and the bad, and sometimes the good can outweigh the bad. Exactly, you get it. My family's never been co closer, and that's all I want. They told me to make a lot of money in the city, make something of myself, all that. It might seem old-fashioned, but I just want to put the people I love first. That's all you got in life, really. I'm curious, who do you put first in life? I mean, it's... I, that's a hard, this is a hard one. I hate choices. I'm indecisive. I'm not good with choices. Let's see. I mean, I would say family. That had to be family, no doubt. Oh, is that so? I think we make it. We made a great. Ah, uh, I think we make a great team. Then we talked for several hours about what we wanted out of life. We seemed to match up perfectly. I was beaming the whole time, and the whole time while I'm sitting here remember, talking about her like this. You do realize I have another soulmate candidate that I'm saying the same type of things to, right? She does realize that, right? It's so hard to believe that. It's Bun Bun Bun! You would point it in front of us, and sure enough, there was Bun 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 chopping on a bush. I never seen anyone move so fast. We descended on Bun 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 like a hawk and grabbed him in an instant. You are going back into your den, you bad little bunny! But I'm happy you're safe. She nuzzled her face against his fur. Bun 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 was practically purring with delight. Then she looked right at me. I can't promise I can give you the most exciting life with the most twists and turns around every corner. But what I can promise is that if you chose me, I'd always be by your side, no matter what. Wherever you were, I'd come running, always. She took her steps towards me and kissed my cheek. Tyler didn't even do that. Oh my gosh. We locked eyes. And for that time, all I could see was her and how beautiful she was. Again, like I said already, we said the same thing about Violet. Bun 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 seemed to be a little jealous after that. Thanks again for the help, Sean. Even if you made this go a whole lot faster, it made it really special to me. Anytime, baby. I'm happy to. We walked back together to the mansion, holding hands and smiling all the time. Holding hands. Wait till Violet sees that. I was feeling too restless after today's date to wait in my room, so I went for a walk downstairs. I decided to walk to the kitchen and open the fridge. Oh, wait, it turns out there were some leftover cookies that Violet and I had made together. I grabbed a few and wolfed them down. Delicious. And here comes Cat. Got a case of the midnight munchies? I figured I'd do my simple duty and help finish the cookies that Violet and I made. Right. Only a good Sumerian would finish all the cookies, so no one else would have to make that sacrifice. I'm just too good of a person, I know. It gets me in trouble sometimes. Anyway, I've been meaning to talk to you. Like, fuck all that shit. <laughs> What's up? How'd your date with Yui today go? Oh my gosh. It went awesome, I gotta say it. It felt like it was out of a fairy tale. You and I spent the whole day just taking in nature, talking about the home and family. She's literally wife material. Isn't she? You is amazing. You know, before the show started, she was my personal favorite. I can see why. She's got such a big heart. I'm in all of her. I really love that about her. She can be so kind and thoughtful, even when life gives her a losing hand. You is one of a kind, especially nowadays. If you don't get the chance to be engaged to her by the end of the show, good luck ever getting a chance to. I got a feeling that she has a long, long line of people wanting to date her after the show. They have to get through me first. This, this guy really just said that. This guy really just said, get through you. Like you don't have somebody else you could be going to. Oh, they will. Anyway, you're probably safe for at least another day. Thanks for the ongoing rivalry between Violet and Yui. The stakes are rising, and so are our precious ratings. So without further ado, it's time for phase three.
You've only got one date left for each of them before the final day. So make them count. You're not out of the woods just yet. Will do. Alright, good. Well, I need to get back to preparing for tomorrow's show. And you better rest up for tomorrow. You only get one first third date with a girl, right? Sounds good to me, Cat. I mean, see you later, Sean. Yeah, good night. And thanks for the help. I realize I'd probably be screwed without you. Don't thank me yet. What does that mean? What does that mean? I walked back to my room and plopped on my bed. Time to get some shut eye. Oh, here we go. Alright, we're out of the mansion. Next stop, the beach. I told you the staff wouldn't suspect the thing. That's because nobody's been stupid enough to try to escape until now. Maybe people would have been should have been a little more stupid a little sooner. Easier said than done. She grabbed my hand and pulled me along. We'll go through the forest. Come on. We ran through the forest as if the devil was chasing us. The truth is not far from it. Okay, I can see the pier now. And the boat. We're this close to getting out of here. She always put her bravest face on when she was afraid. We're going to make it, right? Of course. The boat's just a little farther, and no one's on our team. I can't believe it. We're finally getting out of here. We're finally... We're finally going to leave, Sean. About time, if you ask me. I've dripped to this moment every day since. Who knows how long we've been trapped here by now. But I never thought I could escape until I got to know you. I laughed. You're giving me too much credit. This was your idea. Find any other same person, and they would have told you the same things. Same people didn't try to escape from me. I wouldn't have stayed sane if it weren't for you, though. She laughed. That was my favorite sound. Let's get back to what matters at hand. We both know that this is where rubber meets the road. Yeah. Now it's just a mad dash to the finish. Ready to run? She's like, um, you better be. I'm kidding, let's go. The favorite sound on it once more. I hope it's not the last time I hear it. Oh my gosh. Third time's a charm. Oh no. I don't how long have I I'm pretty tired, like I, Yeah, I'm I'm cutting it off right here. I forgot how do you save it, uh how do you save this thing? Oh my gosh. There we go. Yeah, I'm pretty tired. Like, I'm freaking... I'm freaking tired. I like... It's late at night. And I got work in the morning. So... If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next one. I'm out. Peace!